Welcome back. Today is World Hearing Day. It's an important time to talk about hearing health. Now, more than 48 million Americans are living with hearing loss, and the condition can impact people of all ages. Dr. Haley Owen is joining us this morning. She's an audiologist with Livingston Hearing Aid Center. She's here to talk about the importance of caring for your hearing. Dr. Owen, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, uh, let's talk about why it's so important to have a day dedicated to, uh, you know, caring for our hearing. Yeah, so, World Hearing Day is a day designated by by the World Health Organization to bring awareness to healthy listening levels. Uh, hearing loss is the third most chronic condition in the country and noise induced hearing loss is 100% preventable if we just stay away from those louder noises. Mm -hmm. And kind of like we were talking about, you know, even before we came on air was that even if you don't have signs, it's probably still a good idea to get checked. Absolutely. It's never too early to get it checked. I always say the, the person with the hearing loss is the last one to know. Um, usually family members will tell you, um, you know, people around you will tell you that they're starting to notice, but um, getting it checked early, you know, it's it's so much easier to treat it the sooner we can detect it. Yeah. What, what are some of those signs that, that either someone experiencing it might be going through or say a loved one you say, well, I, I think they might be going deaf. But Yeah, the first thing the person with the hearing loss tends to notice is that um, they, you know, they can hear fine, they just can't always understand the words. Mm -hmm. um, they'll also start to notice that they, they're having trouble hearing speech when they're in background noise. The first thing the family members usually notice is the television starts being turned up a little bit. They're having to ask people to repeat more often. Yeah. And in catching it early, uh, how is it uh, better to be able to be treated? Absolutely. So, you know, most hearing loss is not treatable medically. There's no surgery. There's no, there's no medical intervention. The best thing we can do is with hearing aids. And hearing aids are just so much more effective when we can treat the hearing loss sooner. Um, the, you know, the sooner we can, can put hearing aids on you, actually, the more we can help to uh, keep your hearing from, from declining. Yeah. And, li and like you mentioned, you know, it's not even just the person that's experiencing the hearing loss, but family members you know having to communicate or repeat themselves or there's some frustration what are some of the adaptations that they should be making sure I mean the biggest thing I could tell you is patience you know the the person with the hearing loss isn't intentionally um, you know trying trying to ruin your day um, but you know if we can get their attention before we speak to them speak slower reduce the background noise as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, these are, you know, all, all just going to make their life a little bit easier. And like, you know, another thing we were talking about is, is when you're young, you think you're invincible, you go to concerts, you're having the music blare in your ears or, or you're blaring AirPods or whatever at high levels. Yeah. What are some of the steps that we should be taking in precautions of preserving our ears? Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest thing we say is, it, I mean, if it feels too loud, it probably is. Um, you know, hearing loss is something that's cumulative over time. It's it's usually not this one-time thing, something happened and there my hearing went. It's it's something that, you know, we've been exposed to loud noises over, over an extended period of time. Um, 85 decibels over eight hours, so about the sound of, uh, you know, kind of loud traffic mm -hmm. over, over a long period of time. Um, if you're listening to headphones, um, we like to say, you know, 60% of the volume for 60 minutes at a time and then take a break. Yeah. And it's funny because I've, I've kind of noticed, you know, when I was younger, I, yeah, I'd be blaring it, but I've cut back on that. Say, well, just I'm not going to put it all the way to the max. I'll take it down a few steps. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good thing to do. We can't get it back. That's right, yeah. Where can we go for more information? So uh, we actually have three offices here in, in, uh, in Albuquerque. Um, the best place to get the information probably would be our website. That's going to be www.lhac.com. There you can find the addresses and phone numbers for each of our offices. All right. Dr. Haley Owen, thank you for joining us. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Yep.